You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where today I'm here at the Land of Legends in Turkey for my first ever visit. This huge theme park and resort is located only a 25 minute drive away from Antalya Airport and it opened back in 2016. I've wanted to visit here really since 2018 when they opened a huge new Mack Ride Hyper Coaster and I cannot wait to experience it in this vlog. Now of course visiting somewhere for the first time is always really exciting and in this vlog I'll be discovering everything that the Land of Legends theme park has to offer. Now like I say it is a much wider resort here. You've got the water park, the shopping avenue, the hotel and so much more. So across the next couple of days I'll be checking everything out that the Land of Legends has to offer. Well I've got to say my first impressions of this place are fantastic. Look at this, you've got the huge castle or the chateau as they call it here just over at the back and I tell you what it looks beautiful doesn't it? You've got the waterway that runs right through the shopping avenue. Now this is outside of the theme park and yeah this is completely free to enter and is open daily through until midnight which is awesome. You've got the Kingdom Hotel just off there to the left as well. Looks like something out of Las Vegas, doesn't it? And yeah, this continues on down through the shopping avenue. And I tell you what, this looks beautiful, doesn't it? The scale of this place is impressing me already. It really is. And yeah, the theming and decor looks absolutely fantastic. But yeah, here's another look at more of the shopping avenue. And yeah, this is open through until midnight. The park hours today are 10 a.m. through until 7 p.m. So yeah, when I come out of the park, uh, at some point, either in this vlog or tomorrow, I'll be having a detailed look around here. Because you've got this canal down the middle. Look how it's been uh, cleaned out this morning. And uh, yeah, they do like a canal boat show at 10 o'clock on an evening down here. So I'll definitely be checking that out. And this map just here shows how huge the Land of Legends really is. So yeah, the shopping avenue is all of this down at the bottom. Crazy, isn't it? And then yeah, you've got the chateau, the huge castle there. And then of course you've got the dry park, which is off to the right hand side. And then the aqua park off to the left. And that also looks huge as well. And yeah, as you can see, uh, the adventure park right at the back there, you've got the Mack Rides Hyper Coaster that is literally called Hyper Coaster. <laughs> and I do love how it's here on the entrance there with the loop going around the sign. Along with that, there's three other coasters. You've got this Intamin Water Coaster over here, and then there's a couple of family roller coasters as well. There's a Splash Battle, some flat rides, and yeah, looking forward to seeing what else they've got there as well. Then of course you've got the aqua park just off to the left here and that's really going to be the main focus of tomorrow's vlog. However, depending on time, may nip over there and do a couple of bits later on. Here's a look then at the main entrance to the park and yeah, just a few minutes to go until the turnstiles will be opening. But yeah, when you get here, you're given one of these wristbands so that gets you in through the turnstiles and then also you pay for things on this as well. So in all the shops and restaurants, you actually need to put it on a band and then pay at the end. That's also the same if you want to use the lockers around the water park area as well. In terms of how much it's cost me then, not the cheapest theme park to come to, but you know what, look at the quality of it already. It's cost around £59 um, for the day, and uh, yeah, that does include access to the aqua park and the theme park that's all together once inside. So I've just made my way through the turnstile, nice and easy, just scan the wristband, and yeah, look at this here, all the planting, the theming, the palm trees, it is beautiful, and yeah, it's a hot day today as well. I think you can guess where I'm going to be starting first. I'm going to make my way towards the hyper coaster. Don't really know where I'm going, but it did say all rides and roller coasters this way. Now I didn't realise this, but there's actually multiple entrances coming from the shopping avenue here into the park. And yeah, this definitely seems like the main entrance, like this Colosseum all the way around. The fountains in the middle, there's some entertainers over there as well, which is cool. This place is beautiful, it really is. And there it is, my first glimpse looking at Hypercoaster. I am so excited to get on there, I really am. So I've been walking for about five minutes down here to the back of the park, and look at this, it is absolutely gorgeous here. All the rock work, the fountains, and in the background there, Hypercoaster, 200 foot tall with a 160 foot tall loop. Actually one of the largest inversions anywhere in the world. I am really excited to get on this. I've wanted to ride it since 2018. I would have been here a couple of years ago if it wasn't for the pandemic, but finally I'm here and I'm about to ride on this Mack Rides Beauty. 
I am so pumped to ride this, especially because I love Mac roller coasters. This is huge. It'll be the biggest Mac I've ever been on. I think the entrance is through this gift shop just here behind me. So let's go. I've got the chest mount on. Let's go and ride Hyper Coaster. I don't think I've ever been on a coaster where you go through the gift shop first before going on, but I tell you what, I'm not complaining. Look at the sign just here. Fantastic. And the size of that loop and the coaster as well, 200 foot tall. It's also got a test seat out the front here as well, which is worth pointing out. And here we go. This is where we join the queue line entrance. Now, as you can see, a lot of people are wearing the swim shorts and that's because it is actually encouraged. Like you can wear your swim shorts on the rides. I've got mine on now ready. And obviously if you want to go in the water park, you just take your top off and off you go. But yeah, oh, look at this. I'm so excited to ride. Oh, the station. That's some animatronics here. <laughs> Not quite Disney animatronics, but it'll do. Got the train over there. What is going on? Like, I love seeing things for the first time. I really wanted to come and just capture what this place was all about. I thought it was the station. It's like a fake train station before you go and get on. This is cool. There's a look at the train and here we go. Walk straight on to the back row just here on Hypercoaster. Come and join me, my first ever ride. Let's go. Woohoo! Here we go. We even get a clap coming out of the station. Oh, I cannot wait for this. I'm here on the back row and this is going to be epic. I can tell already. I love the colour scheme. I'm loving this park so far. And I'm loving the fact that, you know, we just got a nice light bar restraint. No faffing about with seat belts either on this one. Look at this. And we go through that loop now. 160 foot tall. There's a view of the chateau. Kingdom Hotel and all across the park just here. I'm going to call this the dry park and that the water park. It's a huge place and this is a big coaster. Here we go. Oh, wow. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's intense. Woo! Oh. It's about time. We go back row of hyper coaster and considering that was one of the first trains of the day that was riding really good i think we need to go straight back round get on the front row and see how it rides there wow straight back round this time for a front row ride the good thing is they will let you wait for the front which is good obviously there's some parts you go to and occasionally they're like no you can't wait for the front you've got to go where we put you uh, but no they will let you wait an extra train or how many trains for the front look at this <laughs> hey you excited here we go yeah i think he's a bit scared the guy next to it <laughs> yeah lovely hot day we're gonna have highs of about 30 degrees celsius now according to my phone gonna be a hot one perfect for riding this beast here we go hang time central wow Woo! I'll tell you what, 
is definitely a front row ride in my opinion for the views. The hang time, the air time, that's incredible. I love it. my first ever rides there on Hypercoaster here at Land of Legends. I've wanted to ride that since it opened and you know what, after two rides it certainly hasn't disappointed. The size of this coaster is insane. On the back row of that first drop you whip straight down and on the front row you get a crazy amount of hang time. And then of course you've just got lap bars on there holding you in which certainly adds to the thrill of it. You make your way up into that 160 foot tall loop and you go through it nice and slow getting some great hang time. In fact that's why they've got that little box on top of the loop as you've probably noticed. That is literally a kicker wheel just in case it stalls up there just to power it through. And yeah I tell you what the design of this ride is incredible. There's some really nice air time throughout the ride. Not really ejector air time, uh, more floater going through. It reminds me a little bit of Shambhala um, with the air time hills. No massive ejector, uh, it's more floater air time on the hills. And then of course you've got another inversion which is the zero G roll which it takes at a really nice speed. The max speed of this coaster 71.5 miles an hour and you can really feel it especially on the back row but I think for me for that hang time going down that drop and up there into the first loop it's got to be the front row and I also felt like as well the air time was better at the front than the back which is really strange for a coaster. It's a beautiful design. It's one of the best Mac coasters I've been on. Absolutely fantastic. And that's early on in the day. How it's gonna warm up later on? Well, we will find out. <laughs> Look at this lifeguard just over here. He's really cool. He's having a shower. Nice mustache as well there. I'm loving it. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Up next then, it's time to ride on the Typhoon coaster just here. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So I've done a couple of these now. One at Mirabilandia in Italy and the other one of course at Energylandia. Now they're about 160 foot tall, this one's about 140 so it is a little bit smaller. Um, yeah it's an Intamin water coaster, this has been here since 2016 so yeah one of the opening attractions. Here it comes. Wow lovely right let's go and get on. Are you coming on with me mate? No? Oh okay I'll, I'll leave you there then. <laughs> Brilliant. Love the huge signs for the rides here. Here we go, Typhoon Coaster, and again we enter and exit through the gift shop just over here. <laughs> it's a beautiful part though this is, look at all the landscaping and theming. It's really giving me Energylandia vibes this place. And here we go, I'm on row two of the Typhoon Coaster. Look at this theme in. I've never seen none of this before on videos or anything. Like a tropical storm. Yeah, it's got a simple lap bar on this. Very atmospheric. used to have some sort of pre-show actually in the queue line but it wasn't running but yeah covid restrictions literally ended here last week like all masks and everything were dropped so maybe that's why that's not back in action yet but yeah what's really cool is there we go you're allowed to take your shoes and socks off <laughs> so i thought i will do save my socks getting wet but you can wear sandals on the rise oh look at that view and here we go up the vertical lift hill gonna get some great views from up here now and here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Love the chateau over there. Hyper off to the left. The Kingdom Hotel is huge. I believe it's got over 400 rooms actually. Here we go. Woo! Wow! Whee!
Lovely. On my footage there from the Typhoon Coaster. And that was really good fun. Got quite wet on there. And it's nice how they allow you to take off your shoes if you want to. But you can also keep them on or wear sandals. It depends on what you want to wear, which is really good. And uh, yeah, in terms of the ride, I like the little dark ride section. Going through like a tropical storm. And then up the vertical lift hill. Fantastic drop. And yeah, very smooth ride. And of course, the splash section on there being really good fun. I've got to say though, I am really enjoying this park so far. The theming is so much better than what I was expecting. So we've got the Gerslauer Skyfly just over there. I'll check that out shortly. But up next, it's time for another coaster. This is a 2018 Gerslauer Family Coaster that is literally called Family Coaster. From this angle, though, it looks like you're going on the Mac, doesn't it? Because <laughs> you see it right there behind. But yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. Yeah, here's a look at the track for it. When you get down here, you realize, oh yeah, it's this little one. At first, I bet the kids look at it and think, we're going on that massive blue ride? <laughs> but yeah, here it is. Looking forward to giving this a go. Gersla, I do some fantastic family coasters. So yeah, I'm sure this will ride great. And off we go, walk straight on. Again, some great theming in the station. Got some weird portraits up there. Maybe the part of some sort of storyline, I'm not too sure. But yeah, everything looks really nice and fresh here, which is great. And here comes the Mac. <laughs> oh, return of the Mac. Had to get that in there. <laughs> yeah, this looks good fun. Some really nice turns. A couple of helixes in there as well. The operations here are pretty solid as well, which is great. Hypercoaster was on one train, but there was no queue. Typhoon was on about four trains. And this is on one. Here we go. Woo! Hey! Oh, that's a weird element. Look at this. Very smooth. Woo! Get ready for it, and it's a helix, 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 helix. Sweet. I didn't do it on the water coaster. I was building you up for that. <laughs> there we go. That's a nice little ride. That smooth, short and sweet. But wild themes, just what you want, really. Yeah, it's good. Great little starter ride. Yeah, and there's a look at the station. A bit steampunky in here, isn't it? Baggage holes just at the side as well. <laughs> Woo! Really nice little coaster that was. That's the great thing about this park. Seems like it's got a nice variety of thrill and family attractions. The perfect balance, really. And talking of thrills, going on Sky Fighter now. I like this theming around here. Loads of decoration that I really wasn't expecting. There's not really much coverage of this place, which is another reason why I wanted to come and check it out for the mystery of it and to film a good couple of vlogs, you know, and showcase everything that there is. And yeah, if the theme park's this good, cannot wait for the water park tomorrow. And of course, seeing everything else that this resort has to offer. I tell you what, the cycle looks really long on this. No one's really getting any flips though, so I'll see if I can get it going. Let's see, there's not really much wind, but I'll give it a go. Here we go, and we've got a release on the Skyfly. Like I say, there's not really any wind at all. So yeah, let's see how we get this going. Normally you've got the help of the Blackpool breeze. <laughs> oh, look at them views just there. Wow. Oh no, there is a little bit of breeze. It seems like this is harder to get going though, which is interesting. That's it. I think the operator gives people shout outs when, she get, when they get like one spin from watching the cycle just. That's it. Definitely seems harder to get this one going. Oh, that's it. Oh, she looks impressed, but still haven't got a proper spin. Oh. <laughs> that's it. And we're rolling. <laughs> he says one spin. <laughs> Whoa. You get some good views. There we go. That's it. Hold that position. There we go. Oh, not quite as good as my spin the other week. <laughs> now it seems like this one is different to operate like it just feels a lot harder oh, either that or i've got weaker yeah <laughs> that is literally all i can get yeah like very weird it's hard to explain but it's like the propellers that we're actually using to go up and down are very hard quite stiff compared to what they normally like yeah, I think I'll just take in the nice views. That's a shame. I was aiming to get some mega spins on there, but yeah, nothing. Get some mega views there instead. Beautiful. Really nice, pretty part, this is. 
Just a cat casually walking through the park just there. Are you going on the ghost? <laughs> Well, not my best performance there, unfortunately. But like I say, it feels like Gerstler have maybe changed the design with that. They seem really stiff to get going. Uh, maybe they've changed it, I'm not too sure. Either that, or I've just got weaker over the past couple of years. Um, but anyway, up next, it's time for yet another flat ride on this lovely hot sunny day here in Turkey. Well, as you all know, I love a good flat ride, especially when it's this beautifully themed. Look at this, yeah, we've got the water fountains out the front just here as well. And yeah, this is a top spin manufactured by SPF Visa. I like how you've got the four wheels on the side there as well. Beautiful. But yeah, just walking around this park, all the planting and landscaping, the flooring. Absolutely gorgeous park, this place. It really is. But yeah, it's called Galleon. You see, this has got a good name. Why can't the coasters be called something decent? Uh, even Typhoon Coaster is not that bad, but Family Coaster and Hyper Coaster. Come on, let's get some names for them. Yeah, let's go and give this a go and we'll take you on and we'll see how it rides. It doesn't look too intense, this one. What a view here from the Galleon and here we go. I tell you what, from watching the cycle just, I think we're in for a long one. Here's me saying it doesn't look very intense. Yeah, I think it gets a lot faster <laughs> when we get going on this, so we'll see. I tell you what, some of the music playing throughout this part, you got a real mix. Just there was some proper hardcore dance music playing. Then there was like this uh, old party song that I've known for years. Yeah, proper mix of music throughout Land of Legends. <laughs> but yeah, perfect positioning looking at the chateau over there. Really impressive what I'm seeing. Here we go. Hey! <laughs> so beautiful. The hotel is huge over there, isn't it? Massive. Might give that splash battle a go next. Whoa! <laughs> Hang time! What's really nice is you don't get stapled in on these like the old bus top spins, like on Ripsaw, you used to get proper stapled. It's quite roomy, these ones. Oh, woo! <laughs> oh, what a view of the Mac. <laughs> that was perfect timing, that. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Brilliant. Off with your head, dance to your dad. That's what's on now. Oh, look at them fountains, brilliant. I feel like I'm back on Ripsaw. <laughs> I like how the operator keeps doing a bit of spiel. We only about three minutes so far. And then we're going for some more. I think that's what he's saying. Screw if you want to go faster in Turkey. Here on Theme Park Worldwide. Oh my God. Look at this. We just stopped them side down. Way! Ah. Woo! Oh! Oh, blimey! Yeah, take back what I said now about it not being intense. Oh, that was great. But we're still going. Oh, brilliant. Well, I tell you what, if you don't like intense rides, I would not advise going on that. It was a really long cycle on there. Lasted close to five minutes. Like, it was brilliant, that was. Yeah, here's me saying it didn't look very intense. It just kept on going. I'll tell you what though, I am loving the vibes at this park. There's another look at Hyper Coaster. God, I wish it had a proper name. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful around here. I've also noticed you've got a few flat rides around here for the kids as well. You've got the flying carpet over there. You've got a little drop tower over the back there as well. And this unique looking contraption just over there as well. Yeah, there's a lot more rides here than what I was expecting to be honest. But yeah, this is beautiful here, the view of the water mania. And this is what I'm going on now, a nice splash battle ride. Yeah, look at this, gorgeous. So clean as well, all the water, all filtered, all painted blue down there underneath as well. It is gorgeous. It's one of the most visually pleasing parks that I've been to. This is the kind of weather that splash battles were built for. Not rainy, wet days at Alton Towers in Mutiny Bay. I mean, yeah, I can't believe there's nobody riding it. Here we go. Time for water mania now. And yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. But yeah, everywhere you walk around this park, there's new things to discover. Beautiful. <laughs> Worth pointing out as well, they've got English announcements. And all the signage is also available in English as well. It makes it great for international visitors, such as myself. Beautifully themed station for Watermania. And yeah, walk straight onto this. Nicely themed splash battle ride. 
Well, it's quite long as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Here we go. Can we get them? Oh, hey. <laughs> I don't think anyone minds when it's this hot, to be honest. Should we go for it again? Oh, <laughs> Aria loves it in this temperature. We have lots of hashtag rock work around here as well. Nice little viewing areas. Oh, I think that's the exit, actually. Lovely. Oh, here we go. This looks right there. Ready for it now. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, the guns reach really far on this one. Oh, <laughs> I can't get him yet. Oh, the boat's angled the other way. Ah, that's not very well designed, is it? Here we go. I can't get him now. Won't go far enough. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, got a few flat rides to try around here next. Yeah, looking forward to those. This is lovely. Probably my favourite splash battle I've done, theming wise. Just really colourful, clean, big effects as well. Yeah, it's very nice. Lots of movement with all the waterfalls and everything. That's what I really like. There's lots to look at. Can we get them? Oh, long reach on the guns. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Favourite way to cool down. It's got a proper steampunk vibe, this ride, and that's what I really like. It's actually one of my favourite themes, and there's nowhere near enough steampunk out there, in my opinion. Uh, look at this, so much to see. Very colourful, lots going on. It's a great splash battle, this one. The one thing that this ride's lacking is just people to squirt at. Like, because it's so quiet, there's nobody standing around the edges, and a lot of the other boats aren't filled. So yeah, it's just lacking other people to squirt. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lovely ride, very nicely themed. Well, the water mania was really good fun. Yeah, I enjoyed that. It was good to get on there. Love a good splash battle, especially on a hot day like this. And I'll tell you what, I can see my next coaster just over there. In fact, the fourth and final coaster that I've got to ride now here at this park. Looking forward to it. I don't know if they've put uh, two trains on Hypercoaster or not, but it seems to be going round a lot more than it was earlier. All the operations have just vastly got quicker. Yeah, let's go and give this a go now, a little SBF family coaster. So this area of the park is all themed around Masha and the bear. And yeah, you've got the carousel just there that looks beautiful. Really nice, all the planting around there as well. You got a little kids circus show off to the side. Got the funny swing just over there. And just over here, we got the coaster. Here we go. It's the race coaster. So yeah, let's go and give this a go. Hey, get the siren going. And off we go on the race coaster. So yeah, officially, you're not actually allowed to ride this unless you've got a child. Uh, however, I did have a chat just with the rides manager and they were kind enough to let me on. I explained about the channel, that I was doing some filming and they were like, yeah, come and have a ride. To be honest though, I don't see why they're restricting it just to kids because it's actually quite a big family coaster, this one. It's not like it's a tiny little one. And here we go. Woo! Force to it, that. That's all blimey. <laughs> I like how he's got kicker wheels to slow it down there. You get some great views of the hyper as well from on here. Oh, yeah, that means I've got all four credits available here, which is great. There's so many other rides and distractions here. It's not all about the coasters. Obviously, the Mac Beauty is the highlight, but uh, yeah, just seeing everything else here as well. For kids, it probably whips around that corner. Brilliant, yeah, nice little family coaster. That is it a two lap or a three lap? That's it, two lap special. Now, I'm not too sure if it's called the race coaster or the zippy zappy coaster. So as you can see, it's got a different sign on the actual station building, but still, I got on there and it was good fun. Just thought I'd show you a little bit of footage of this circus that's going on here now in the Masha and the Bear area. There's so much going on at this park, there really is. And yeah, a little bit of footage there from the circus show. Go have a little walk now around the Masha and the Bear Land of Laughter area. And yeah, you got a nice food outlet just on the right there. As you can see, that's themed to a train. 
That's pretty cool. And yeah, like I say, as you're making your way around the park, you pay for everything on your wristband. Now, I've just found out, I thought you paid for it at the end, maybe like Rulantica at Europa Park kind of style, uh, but it doesn't work like that. What you do is you top it up at various different places around the park, uh, top your wristband up, and then you can spend it in them different shops and restaurants. So yeah, it's a bit of an interesting system. Never been anywhere before where it does it like that. I thought I was just gonna pay for it all at the end. Now, I've not seen anything about this. It's time for a joyful journey. And yeah, this is a nice little boat ride that takes you through the area. Again, some great theming in here. Let's go and give this a go. Never seen it before, so I don't have a clue what to expect. I love that little model of the boat just there. And they've actually got some of the blueprints for the boats just there as well, which is really cool. I like how they're on display. I love what we're in, like a little water taxi. This is cool. There's the big bear. Looks like we've got a big dart ride scene coming up. Oh, look at this. Very spooky. Never even seen or heard of Masha and the Bear. So I don't really know what's going on, but this is beautiful in here. Great use of lighting effects. I feel like it's Halloween. How's a goat? Another goat just there. <laughs> it's like a Christmas scene now. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> it's like a ride through the seasons. <laughs> That's a nice effect with the fireworks up there. <laughs> I love how fresh everything looks here. It's great coming to a park that's only really a few years old and seeing it all. Yeah, it's a great detail ride, lots to look at. <laughs> this is great fun, loads of movement in here. And Charlotte would love this, look what we got over here. We got a goat playing an accordion, there you go. <laughs> Brilliant. While Masha and the bear, a joyful journey, really exceeded expectations. I thought it just was gonna be a small little boat ride. Um, but no, it had the dark ride scenes, some animatronics, lots of movement going on, and also projections, onboard audio. Yeah, it was a full package really. Very nice family boat ride. Okay then, back around the corner now, right next door to the Watermania Splash Battle. And yeah, I'm going on this now. I'm gonna check out some more of the flat rides. This is Uptown Loop. You can see the Gerstler Sky Fly in the background there as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there's a few flat rides around here. So I think we'll go and jump on this and give it a go. Here we go then. Seems like a really weird little contraption this does. So I thought I'm gonna have to give it a go. I like something that's a bit unique. Here you got the two arms. They go all the way over. But yeah, they don't spin upside down. It feels like they should do, especially looking at the design of it and also with the name as well, mentioned in loop. Yeah, you just think you go all the way over. I just thought it's a bit weird, isn't it? Kind of gives you the same sensation as a Zampilla Nebulas in a way, just without the excitement of seeing the other arm going round right in front of you. Yeah, it's a bit weird, this. Love the steampunk vibes around this area, which is really cool. Oh, just up there at the top now. Got some nice views. Hey! <laughs> Forward as we go, it's kind of like you just want a bit more from this. It's just not giving it to me, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just a little bit slow. It would have been nice if it was a bit faster over the top. But yeah, or imagine this if it was spun upside down as well. Feels like it's supposed to, but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's about all we're getting. Not very exciting, this one, unfortunately. 
Not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more from that. However, yeah, it was okay. Even for families there, it's very slow, that one. Quite a mild family ride, that one is. I tell you what though, walking around this park in the sunshine is gorgeous. Got the balloon ride just over here as well. Some nice theming all around the side. That's the key to this park theming and landscaping. And yeah, you look at all the trees, the pathways, it is finished off to a very high standard. There's also loads of different food and drink outlets throughout the park. There's restaurants, there's quick service. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything that you want. Hot dogs, pizzas, chicken nuggets, uh, all that standard theme park food across lots of different outlets. And here you got Starbucks coffee just off to the left there as well. Well, you may have thought I was at a Disney park at the start of the vlog this morning with the castle. And if you definitely didn't think it then, you certainly will do now with the flying carpets ride just over here. As you can see, we've got Aladdin just on there. And right in the middle, it's Genie. <laughs> Brilliant. Where's Jasmine? I'm not too sure. Is that Jasmine on the back? Or is that another Aladdin? I think there's two Aladdins. We're about to find out. Oh, no, it's Jasmine, I think. Or is it? I don't know. It's hard to tell from this angle. Yeah, you got the big lamp down there as well. And just around this corner, there's a Tagada. I can't believe it. What's the Tagada doing here? <laughs> it's all themed in. Oh, here we go. She's just letting people on. Let's go and ride. Here you got a chair swing over there as well. Well, that's closed for maintenance by the looks of it. Nice little wave swinger. Yeah, let's go on this Tagada. Why not? Oh, they weren't tall enough to ride. So I'm here on my own on the Tagada. And look at this. It's got seat belts. Never seen that before on one of these. Well, there you go. Yeah, literally a little seat belt clips in just down there at the bottom. I've not seen this going round, so I don't know how intense it's going to be. But we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, theme park model. Oh, that was bumpy. Great views, though. Look at the main hyper character just there. I wish I had a name, a <laughs> proper name. But yeah, it's only 20 past two, and I've done loads. I've done most of the rides now inside the theme park. But yeah, I'm going to be getting plenty of re-rides in. To be honest, after this, I'm going to go and sit on hyper coaster for a little bit, do some more rides, and carry on having a bit of an explore round. <laughs> <laughs> Not very intense this, it's weird, making some funny noises. Yeah, you can tell it's pretty much brand new though. Only a few years old I'd imagine with the park. Very smooth. It's funny though, isn't it? Is that it? Is that the end of the ride? Oh my God. Oh no, we're going again. But yeah, it's weird how it's got like uh, seat belts on here. When you go on much more intense, one, intense ones of these and they don't have any form of restraint, you just bounce about everywhere. Maybe it's some kind of rule that they've got over here in Turkey. But I guess we'll find out when we get to some of the other amusement parks that are coming up on this trip. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. Not quite the same without any audio. That was probably the worst tagger that I've ever been on. Normally the really good fun, but yeah, that was pretty poor, that was. Anyway, I'm gonna have a few laps now on Hyper Coaster. Doesn't look like it's got a queue at all, to be honest. So I'm gonna go and jump on, have a few laps, and this time I'll put in some more off-ride footage of this Mac Beauty in action. Приглашаем вас прочувствовать весь экстрим на единственный горка побережья с поворотом 360 градусов Hyper Coaster. Hadi durma. Bu eşsiz heyecan. Hyper Coaster'da seni bekliyor. Excitement is waiting for you at Hyper Coaster. Присоединяйся к развлечению, которое подарит тебе максимальное количество адреналина и бурю эмоций. In these really enthusiastic announcements that are playing around the park. It's like something that's normally in a promotional video, but it's actually playing on the park speakers. You heard the one just for Hyper Coaster. Along with that, there's one just playing for the Water Mania Splash Battle as well. I've just had another four rides then on Hyper Coaster in about 35 minutes, bringing my total rides on there to six so far today. And uh, yeah, I'm easily going to get 10 on there by the end of the day. It's Walk On. Uh, one absolutely fantastic ride. It's warming up nicely now as well. I will take you on with another POV towards the end of the vlog. But I tell you what, it's a brilliant Mac coaster. Really not disappointed, just getting on there. Feeling the airtime. To be honest, there's a few more points now where you're starting to get more ejector than floater, and it all depends where you sit. I've done a couple of mid-train rides, and there's a really nice mix between the floater airtime and the ejector. And to be honest, going through the two inversions on the ride was just as good in the middle of the train as it was on the front or back. 
but in terms of the first drop, it's still definitely better on the front or back for that whipping over if you're on the back seat, or of course the awesome hang time if you're on the front. So yeah, this is the huge gift shop that there is at the entrance and exit of the ride. And yeah, here's a look at the awesome t-shirt that there is there with a picture of the train on. Yeah, works out about eight pounds for those. Not too bad at all, 170 Turkish Lira. And these caps come in at just under a tenner, which isn't too bad. I mean, they're really nice, aren't they as well? With the color scheme on there. Yeah, some great merch. You got like a nice little model there of the Chateau Castle. Yeah, loads of stuff around here in the gift shop. Which is very nice. Yeah, you got all sorts of t-shirts all your different things that you need for the water park as well. Yeah, it's fantastic, massive shop. Here's a look then at Twister on the little SBF Visa drop towers that they've got just here. Yeah, they're good fun rides. Love the landscaping around here, all these trees, lots of shade in this park and it's certainly needed when it's nice and hot. Now in terms of indoor attractions, you got Finger Coaster just over here. Now, I think this has been closed for quite a while. Some sort of VR attraction. Uh, but yeah, it was listed on the website as closed and it has been now for quite a while. Maybe because of the pandemic and it's just yet to reopen. Um, yeah, it is a VR attraction. Not a huge fan of VR, but I'm sure when we come back here in the future, we'll definitely give that a go when it's back open. So they've actually got a rotor attraction just over there hidden away in all the theming. Just what people want that is, isn't it? Being stuck up against a wall in this heat. Crazy, I can't think of anything worse. Um, just off to the right here, got some great theming with the aircraft as well. That's the word of the vlog, isn't it, theming? Little water play area there as well. And Space Race just over here, which is some sort of simulator. Um, looking at it, you have to wear 3D glasses. But yeah, this is closed as well. It was listed on the website as being down. Riot. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting this one this trip. All the music around this park is great. This brings me back to my childhood. Here we go. Fail, fail. Really, see, when I went to Butlins and Haven as a kid, used to do this dance. Love it. Right, I'm looking for a ride now called Fifth Dimension. It's one of my final things that I've got to do here at the Land of Legends theme park. Uh, of course, looking forward to the aqua park tomorrow. We have just see a little Ferris wheel over here. So many little hidden rides. I love it. This is really cool, actually, because they've used the building for that balloon ride that's on the other side and the Ferris wheel on this side. You've got the little owls up there as well. Can't take myself seriously with this song playing. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for Fifth Dimension somewhere around here. Is this it, maybe? Something here on the left-hand side. Let's have a look. Hurricane. Maybe this is it. I don't know. It's something indoors, though. Not sure. Let's go have a look. See, so, yeah, as you can see, this looks pretty interesting. It's a ride system, but you're actually wearing VR on there as well. So yeah, there's probably not much point in filming this one. All you're gonna see is this glass panel that I'm filming the ride through. Um, but yeah, it seems to move around quite a bit. And you've also got the VR headsets on. So yeah, I'll go and give this a go. And I'll give you a bit of a review when I come off the ride. Well, that was actually my longest wait of the day, about 20 minutes. And yeah, it was about a three minute ride, sat there on the ride system with some quite brisk movement. And then of course, watching a VR headset. And yeah, I do prefer VR when it's like that, instead of taking over a roller coaster or a drop tower and kind of being an addition. With that, it was fine. However, it wasn't really anything special. The video itself was set all in China, um, all around kind of the Great Wall and on this bicycle. It was okay, nothing spectacular. Probably my least favorite attraction that I've done today but like I say I'm not really a huge fan of VR. It's nice that they've got some performers around the park as well that really adds to the atmosphere and overall experience. Just gone 2.30 and I've already done so many rides in four and a half hours. It's not that busy at all but it's busy enough to actually give it an atmosphere. It's not completely empty and yeah I like these over here. They look like they're animatronics. Yeah I might see them in action a little bit later on. But yeah, beautiful park, it really is. I'd say the theming and overall immersion here uh, has certainly exceeded expectations. We're gonna head round here now to what is my final major attraction inside of the theme park itself, and that is the fifth dimension just over here. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I don't really know much about it. All I've heard from people that have been to this park um, is that it's a very weird ride. I'll tell you what though, it's got a great theme show building, hasn't it? Hey, look at this. Yeah, this runs show times every 30 minutes. Yeah, they're clearly advertised just out the front. Look at this. Here we go. Got fountains out the front. Looking at the seats, gonna get pretty wet on this. Then we'll go a little bit further down this way. Look at this. <laughs> right, let's see what this is like. <laughs> oh my God, so the seats are bouncing about. And then just, I didn't get it on camera, but there was this massive like, water effect here in the middle. 
got like fountains in the middle of the seats. <laughs> Charlotte would not like this at all. <laughs> oh my god, people are absolutely dripping wet through. Oh, that was crazy. Well, that was officially the wettest and craziest 5D cinema I've ever been in. Even out of all the 4D cinemas that I've done over the years, I've never been in one quite like that before. Lots of movement with the seats. 20 minute film. You've either got Aquaman, which that one was, or Happy Family uh, that shows in there as well. And uh, yeah, you know what? It was really good fun because it was water coming from the ceiling, from the walls, uh, from underneath. It was absolutely crazy that was. And loads of movement with the ride system as well. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Well worth giving it a go. If you want to cool off for 20 minutes out of the sun here in Turkey, that is the attraction for you. Well, I tell you what, I have loved exploring the theme park here at Land of Legends for the first time. And yes, yeah, still got all of the aqua park to see, and that'll be coming up in the second day vlog here from Land of Legends in Turkey. There's another look at Typhoon, a huge intimate water coaster. And yeah, you're gonna be doing some more re-rides. That's the beauty. It's only just gone like 20 past three. Got loads of time now for some re-rides here at this park. And yeah, I'm gonna be saving all of the aqua park um, for the day two video. But yeah, I just thought I'd check out the other things that they've got on this side, show you some more of the theming, and then I'll take you back on the Mac Hyper Coaster as well. <laughs> look at this security of the park going around on roller skates. Like, that's crazy, isn't it? Seems like the female security guards go around on roller skates and the males, they go around on electric scooters. How fun's that? There's <laughs> actually a lot more attractions here than I was expecting. They've also got one of them towers there where you pull yourself up to the top. Yeah, another family attraction here at the Land of Legends. Yeah, just walking around appreciating the park and the landscaping. There's so many places where you can get food and drink as well, which is great. Yeah, I had some food down here earlier on. And so uh, yeah, as you can see, you got all sorts of burgers and yeah, loads of different options. Jack of potatoes up there as well. Yeah, and there's a look at some of the prices. Yeah, it worked out about eight pounds for my meal that I had earlier on. Not too bad at all. Gradually making my way now down to Hypercoaster. I'm going to take you on this time with a Rider Cam POV. But I do love how at the entrance of each of the rides, they've actually got a sign telling you which GoPros you can use and which ones you can't, like which mounts, uh, which is really cool. Like, I'm a big fan of that. I wish more parks did that. Staff and roller skates, sweet. <laughs> a good shot wasn't it of hyper coaster and family coaster interacting just around the back of that shop over there you got plenty of the misters around the park there's some more great theming here as well just thought i'd also mention you've got loads of these machines around the park these are all to do with your wristband so literally you scan your wristband on here you can top it up cash or card i mean this one here is one for cash but there was one around the corner that you top it up with card and also you can look at your transactions on there as well I mean, it is easy enough, but that's the one thing that I'm not too keen on with this park. I'd rather just go up and buy something um, up at one of the booths just here instead of kind of topping up uh, the wristband to then pay at the end. I'm not a huge fan of that. I guess it works all right, though, for people who are coming on school trips and that sort of thing, because uh, obviously they can give them a set amount, you know, so it can have its advantages. Uh, but I think for your average guests coming here, it just makes it a bit more of a hassle, in my opinion, um, to buy things. I'd rather just pay for stuff on the way and you also know what you've spent. For 
but uh, obviously that's another reason why they do it. It's because you think, oh, it's all right, we'll just whack it on the wristband. It doesn't seem like real money, but then obviously you've still got to top it up anyway. So yeah, it's a bit of a weird system, that, in my opinion. I tell you what, though, I am loving this park. I've done loads of rides, and literally I'm going to go marathon now for about an hour, hyper coaster, see how many rides I can get on there, give you another rider cam before we're wrapping up this vlog here from the Land of Legends. And yeah, there's still two more vlogs to come from here because tonight I'm going to be checking out the shopping village because there's three evening shows around there. There's like a lake show, there's a couple of fountain shows, and of course look around the shops and restaurants as well, uh, including merchandise. So yeah, that'll be coming up next. And then of course, uh, I'll be checking out the water park and getting some more attractions done over there tomorrow. There's a huge wave pool and so much more that I am really excited for. We are back down here at the Hyper. Let's go and have a ride then. I'll take you on with the wrist strap this time because I'm allowed to here. It's great. Well, I've just marathoned this beauty for the past hour, and this has to be ride number 16 on the Hypercoaster. How do you feel about that? You're right. He was moving just, but uh, oh, there we go. His teeth are chatting a little bit. But here we go. I bet this guy's fed up of seeing me just here, the old train conductor. Here we go. I'm going to take you on now for my last ride of the day with a nice rider cam POV. Oh, I'll tell you what, I have loved marathon this awesome coaster. It's an absolutely epic ride, it really is. And I tell you what, it was really warmed up as you're about to see in this POV. Earlier on there was some really good airtime, but now it's proper ejector. Look at this view just there. Oh, it's a beast, isn't it? There's the loop down there. Oh boy. <laughs> it's always great when you bring the GoPro on. Well, here we go. and it has warmed up so much from earlier on. A brilliant ride. You know what, if I've got time, I'm gonna squeeze one more in and then, uh, yeah, wrap up today's vlog here from the land of legends in Turkey. This beast of a coaster certainly hasn't disappointed. What an epic ride. Well, that really is the coaster that just keeps on giving. It's kept warming up throughout the day and it's riding absolutely brilliant now. I've actually managed to rock up 18 rides. Managed to get another couple just at the end on Hypercoaster. I thought that I might get quite a lot of rides in today, but was not expecting that many, along with covering the rest of the theme park as well. This place really is beautiful. I've not even stepped down the left-hand side yet and seen the Aqua Park. Cannot wait to explore that tomorrow. Really looking forward to it, because if it's as good as the theme park, then we're in for an absolutely awesome time tomorrow. Like I say though, you can just mix your day between the both. Um, because the aqua park and the theme park, it's all in, under one ticket. You know, you pay for your admission, you can easily do both. However, I really wanted to hit out the park uh, today and then, of course, head to the aqua park tomorrow. Well, there we go. That brings us to the end of this vlog from the Land of Legends theme park here in Turkey. What an absolutely fantastic day I've had at this park. It's always great discovering somewhere for the first time. And really, I class this as a little hidden gem um, because you know what? It only opened in 2016 and already there's so much to enjoy here. And today I've only really seen half of it. And not even that because it's not just the aqua park. You've also got all the shopping avenue and them shows that I'm going to be watching there tonight. So that'll be the next vlog coming up on the channel tomorrow, followed by my visit to the Aqua Park and checking out all of the other things here at the Land of Legends. Coming to this park, my main 
highlights has definitely been Hyper Coaster and also the awesome theming. The fact I've got 18 rides on there is pretty good. I was not expecting to get anywhere near that many. It's a brilliant ride. It was great earlier on, but I tell you what, it warms up so much throughout the day. It makes a massive difference on Mac coasters, whether it's Icon, Helix, or Hyper Coaster here. Uh, no matter what Mac you're going on, and to be honest, a lot of coasters, especially Hypers, really do warm up throughout the day. And this one is just the same as that. It really warms up, and it's a brilliant ride wherever you sat. But front row is probably the highlight for me, and also the back row um, just behind it. Operations have been pretty solid throughout the day. We too have got all these rides in. Uh, I like the fact that they allow GoPros, wrist straps as well. I've filmed lots of 4K content that will be coming to the channel soon as well. The water coaster was great. The family coasters were good fun as well. Bit weird with the operations on the other junior coaster, having to have a kid, because it wasn't really that small of a ride. Uh, but thanks to the park for getting me on there. And yeah, I'm not too sure on the wristband system. I'd much rather just go and pay for something instead of having to top up a wristband to then go and pay. I think, you know, if you did it at the end, that'd be fine. Uh, but it's just a bit of faff, really, because you top up your wristband. What happens if you've still got money on that at the end? I don't think you can roll it into the next day from what I was looking at. See, I'm not too sure on that. But you know what? The park has definitely exceeded our expectations. Um, some great rides here. The theming is real high tier stuff, uh, which I wasn't expecting to be honest. I've not really seen much about this park. The theming is really on point. The landscaping, uh, yeah, overall a fantastic day at this park. What I love with here as well is how there's a nice mix of attractions. Your big thrill rides, your water rides, your flats, and so much more. And you've got to think, I've still got the aqua park to see, uh, and also, yeah, going around the shopping avenue as well. That's going to be the next vlog. So, um, lots more content to come here from this park. And then continuing on with my trip here to Turkey. But uh, there we go. Thanks for joining. Comment down below what has been your favourite part of this vlog. For me, it's got to, of course, be Hyper Coaster and taking you on with the POVs. That leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.